Welcome to the channel. Today we're reviewing the uh, Breech Lock Hand Press by Lee. Here it is, not a sponsor. Um, and they sell it in the States direct for 73 bucks. You can probably pick this up for like 80, 85 pounds in the UK. You know, maybe second hand a little less. This one is not mine. This one got lent to me by a friend, by my friend John. Um, <laughs> about 15 years ago. He told me, use it and tell me what you think. I haven't used it yet, all right? So it's it's not theft. I fully intend to give it back in the fullness of time, you know. Um, so let's hope he doesn't watch this video. To tell you the truth, I think he's forgotten. And more to the point, I don't think he wants it back. Um, his reloading system at the time, the way he's explained it, and it was so interesting, I still remember it, is that... Um, for each die that he has, he had like three or four calibers, and for each caliber you have a number of dies, and each one of the dies he would sit in the press, seat it correctly, and then never touch it again. And so let's say he would start off with the uh, uh, full sizing die, he would take the full sizing die press and he'd manipulate the cases and then he'd put that press away. And he'd pick up the next press which would have the seating die. And you know, he'd put the powder in, he'd put the case in, in that press and then he'd, he'd open this thing up, and he'd, he'd put his little case in like that. With, with the powder on top and then you know, he'd, he'd seat it down and Oh, I'll push it together or whatever, and um, then then he'd be done with this press, and he'd put it away, and he'd pick up the next press, and you can kind of see where this is going. If he has uh, three different calibers he shoots, and you have three dies for each calibers, then um, you have uh, 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 nine to twelve presses. So um, I, I'm not sure how long he's kept it up for, but um, I've had him over in the past uh, to look at some of the stuff I use. I think he's actually upgraded to a Dylan. Um, so that means he's got eight of these, and I don't think this one's a pressing concern. As I've said, I've not used it, and the, the reason I've not used it is honestly because I have better presses. Um, this this thing is, I, I, I get the simplicity of it, I, I understand that, you know, I, I get that, um, look how simple and small it is, but realistically it's not that small, this thing is huge. It's it's just shy of a foot, It's it's less than an inch short of a foot. 730 grams and you have to see this press does not let you prime anything so i assume john would have had a hand prime that he would prime all the cases with to start off with and all of a sudden you you, you have a whole equipment list that hangs off this thing already and we haven't even started yet um you have to remember that yes this is only 73 pa uh, 73 bucks but right now in the States, for £117, now look this up, you can buy a Breech Lock Challenger Press, which is very similar to the classic cast, only in aluminum. And you can get that, and that has a priming mechanism and everything, and that's a press that'll last you a lifetime. And this thing will last you just until you figure out how crap it is. Um, so if you're in a home setting, and you're looking for a press, don't buy this. Just don't buy this. And that kind of leaves us to kind of like people on the move. And I, I'll split those people into two. And one of them is kind of like, well, let's not beat them around the bush. They're the insane people. And those are the ones that think that with a backpack and a rifle and a set of dives, they're going to survive the zombie apocalypse. And, you know, and again, the, the same point holds. There's too much stuff that goes with reloading. Yeah. It's just, and, and even in a situation like that, even if you must, if you, if you, if you must prep for that, you know, you, you think the collapse of society is imminent, you'd be better off with like a, a, a classic Lee Loader little kit thing, it's that big, and it'll still do a better job with this. And that's the final category then, you know, um, taking the tinfoil hat off. Those are the, re the, the people that think they're going to reload on the range. But the idea there is that, um, Instead of reloading at home, when you work up a load or you create something and you're not sure exactly which way your, your, your shooting is going to take you, there is an argument for pre-weighing charges but not actually loading it, or maybe even... I mean, I've never seen somebody who has a, a, a set of scales on the press to weigh charges, but, but let's just assume you're going to be that person. You know, you're just going to sit on the range and there are people shooting everywhere and there are flashes, muzzle flashes everywhere, and you're going to get your powder out and you're going to say, oh... I'm just weighing some charges, you know, let's assume you are that guy. 
and you're going to bring your finish brass to the uh, range and um, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take your pre-prepared charges or you're going to you're going to weigh it right there you're going to put it in your case and you're going to use this press to just seat a bullet on top yeah well in a situation like that you'd still be off better with like the classic lee loader where you 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 kind of you put this down and you have this thing that goes over and you kind of hammer it in and um okay they're caliber specific and what's the point of this then what is the point it's just it's expensive it's over engineered it is huge and and i think it's crap and and john if you're watching yeah, you know, you can have it back, and, you know, there you go. And if you're not watching, then, you know, you should be a better friend. And we'll leave it there. All right, bye-bye, and we'll see you next time.